now is 1.35 a.m. I just got home for visiting some friends. But I want to see how my new Salomon profiler seat fits on my 2020 Lowrider S. Um, I don't know when I'm going to release this video, but if this is the first video I release about this bike, this is a new, to me, Lowrider S that I bought from Carol HD down in Carroll, Iowa. And you know, it's a used bike. It already came with a few things, you know, like the reflectors that I go here, they, they were already removed. Um, yeah, I remember we have another reflector there, right? But it also came with this seat. I think this is the Sports Glide seat. This is not the actual uh, Lowrider F seat. And it's, it works fine and whatnot. Uh, I, I was feeling a little cramp riding it last week, right? So I, I realized, you know what? Maybe I can get the profiler here. You know, it has maybe a little of a hump there. I don't know. Let me see if I can show that better. Anyway, some people were saying that it works very well with taller riders. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to put it on tonight. Oh, this morning, and since I told my wife that I was going to make a video of every part that I put on the motorcycle, so it's gonna be a right. Um, we're gonna make a video of that seat going on this bike. All right. So to remove my seat here, I'm gonna need a three sixteen, three sixteenth. Allen wrench to remove the hardware here that I is holding my seat. Man, that thing got a little. Anyway, it was cold out there. So the way I'm gonna do that is basically, let's see if I can do it with one hand. Because of course I have tripods and whatnot, but like it came out easy like that. This one, oh, this there goes the washer. All right, put it in my pocket. Get my Allen wrench over here. And let's take the seat up. Let's see if you just pull it up. And now, you know, like if you don't know how these seats work, so they usually have a thumb right there. Yeah, let me see, pull it down here. And these over here interfaces with this part of the of the frame here. This is that bracket, I guess. The name. And that is, you know. How it goes, right? And I know this is a hardly part number. This seat is that one. I believe. Okay, yeah, it says Harley Davidson right there. So anyway, let's try the other one. So where do I put this? You know what? I'm gonna put it on top of this car here, right? I don't know. Okay, so <laughs> This Saruman seat, the fighter, right? Comes with this grommet here. This is for, to put like around here, right? Actually, I don't mind in this case because we have this little plastic here. So I probably won't be using this. You know, it's the other way around. Anyway. If I end up using it, but I'll let you guys know. But we need to set up this stone here. The way you do that with a five thirty seconds, right? Take those, those those things out and reverse it. All right, guys. So I reverse the the stone over here. Um, I was thinking that maybe I should put some Loctite on these bolts, but uh, I don't feel like do that right now. So right now let's put it back on the. On the, on the motorcycle here. So, could be the metal uh, tone there that is going to go on the, the bracket, right? And then we put our hardware there in the end. All right, so that's the new seat right there. Hmm. So, a little different than the one that I just took out. 
I think this is a little taller, this little section over here. And it's kind of a smoother transition. Let me, let me get out there for a moment there. So this is the, the one that was there before. I can tell you like, I don't know. I can tell you that I just sat in that one and it's a little harder. This one is more contoured. So we'll see how it goes uh, in the next few days. But anyway, it's not the usual step up seat that people like to put on these motorcycles, right? Or the, I don't know, the San Diego Customs one. I'm probably gonna get that one later down the line. But this one is, was a good deal. There in Red Seal, it was an open box. And, you know, I think it fits very well and it raised me a little bit up and then a little bit back, a little bit, right? So instead of just see, like sitting here, I can sit a little bit in the back. So that gives me more leg room to work. And because I don't wanna change my foot controls, I just wanna leave it in like it is. I think this is a good addition. Later, you know, later down the road, I'm gonna uh, make a video, basically a review for it. Anyway, guys, thank you very much. If you like the video, please subscribe, hit the like button there, and please leave me a comment so, you know, do you have any opinions about how to improve it? What are the parts that you actually like to put on your Harley Davidson? And also, you are interested in more videos on the Kawasaki. Anyway, now that I'm here, I can talk a little bit about the Kawasaki. You know, like I had done a ton of mods to the motorcycle, but I didn't record them because basically I was just doing the mods like it go right. But anyway, this is a Harley Davidson video, not a Kawasaki video. So there you go. That's the Saturnman Profiler. Right, thank you very much.